somewhere, man. I gotta be free to reach my goal, to do my thing, to play my role, because I'm a kill. kill. I spill coo, coo, uh, 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 ooh, ooh, kill, kill. Well, Colin, to be exact. Oh, I enjoy that. Hmm. What are you doing with my ruler? Ruling. What are you doing with my protractor? Protracting. <laughs> what are you doing with my rubber? Erasing. <laughs> you could have asked to borrow them. Now, look, I'm designing a present for Charlie. He's going to be 73 next Sunday. 73, is he? Mm. Gee whiz. He must have seen a bit in his lifetime. Mm. What, two world wars, the depression, the abdication? Dinosaurs. <laughs> I don't think he's quite that old. So, what are you going to buy him? <coughs> Ta-da! Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> what is it? A kennel. <laughs> You're going to make Charlie a kennel? No, 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 for his dog, Ringo. Ah. Oh. What's that? A, a chin me. <laughs> Aren't you forgetting something? A hey, chin me, please? That's <laughs> better. <laughs> no, Colin, a dog kennel doesn't need a chimney. Well, well it, it works out cheaper. Cheaper than what? C central heating. <laughs> I'm going to have my ruler and my protractor, thank you very much. Oh, I knew it. And don't pull faces behind my back. Oh, was it? Yes, but you did then. <laughs> how, do you t how do you teachers know that? Colin, shh, please. I've got some very pressing schoolwork to do. Has anyone seen the TV guy? Shh, please, Michael. Julia's got some very depressing schoolwork to do. <laughs> hey, Colin, that's a big stack of wood you got out in the backyard. Yeah. I'm thinking of building something for Charlie for his birthday. What is it, a kennel? No, Michael, it's, it's a coffin. <laughs> of course it's a kennel. Hey, maybe you could go in on it with me and you could help. No, sorry, mate, I'm a bit busy at the moment. You know, Julia, that doesn't look like schoolwork. It's trigonometry. You're entering another one of those stupid competitions, aren't you? It is not a stupid competition, Michael. It's a highly educational test of skill, accuracy and intelligence. Spot the ball. <laughs> test your observational skills. The ball is missing from this photo taken at the grand final. Just put across where you think it is and you could win a fabulous holiday for two. Oh, yes, that's very educational, Julia. Much more important than Charlie's birthday present. Well, you never know, I might win. Julia, you don't even know the first thing about football. But you don't have to, Michael. It's all to do with angles. See, look, this player here is taking a mark over this player here, which means the ball must be between this player and this player. It's, br it's brilliant, <laughs> except, except for one law thing. What? That player's the umpire. <laughs> Oh, well. well. Where do you think the missing ball is, then? Oh, let me see. How about... Nah, don't even think about it. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Well, if you don't mind, I'm going to work it out by myself. And if you don't mind, I'd like to have a look at the TV guide. No, 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 not until I've spotted the ball, Michael. Julie, it'll only take a minute. Well, this is more important. Well, you were the one who said we should always share. Yes, I think we should share, but not when it's something I want. Oh, well, you know, that's a very silly no, thing Michael, to say, is it? No, I won't go. Yes, thank you! <laughs> Confiscated. <laughs> Sending bits of wood. <laughs> it's working really good. Uh, sending bits of, sending bits of, sending bits of wood. Send Excuse me. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> me? Yes, you. Sandy. You are not sanding in the kitchen. Yes, I am. Look. <laughs> what about the mess? Yeah, well, I admit the dishes need to be done, but... Do it oh. outside. <clears throat> the dishes? The sanding. But, no, no, I want... I want it to be a surprise for Charlie. I, I don't want him to know about the, the kennel. Hey, do you, do you want to go in it with me? You could, you could help. How? You could make some nice frilly curtains for the kennel. Frilly 
curtains. What kind of a wuss would make frilly curtains for a dog? Michael, do you want to do us a favour? <laughs> no, no, mate, I can't help you with that kennel. I'm too busy, I'm sorry. Oh, all right. There's a letter here for you. Oh, could be from Mum. No, I doubt it. The name's spelt correctly. <laughs> so, newsletter for me and a death threat for you, Julia. Death, death threat? Yeah, it's from Bankard. <gasps> whoa, 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 you'll never guess what. Somebody offered you a job. I have just won a 10-day fun-filled holiday for two with scuba diving and international cuisine at a five-star international hotel called Douglas. How? I spotted the ball. <laughs> Sanding bits of wood. <laughs> Hi, Julia. Have a nice day shopping. I've had a nice day just sitting here, not sanding or doing anything. Well, Colin, I don't mind if you sand in the kitchen. That's not what you said yesterday. Oh, no, that, that was me just being a little flippant. A little what? <laughs> flippant. Flippant? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so, Colin, I, I bet you must be really excited about winning that holiday for two. Have you made any decisions yet? Yeah, you've decided to get rid of the chimney. <laughs> no, I mean, have you decided on a partner yet? <coughs> Marriage is a very big step, Julia. <laughs> Colin, who are you going to take on the holiday with you? To Port Douglas? Yes. For ten fun-filled days and nights of international cuisine and scupper diving. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know, I haven't given it much thought. Oh, oh, well, that's, yeah, fair enough. You just take your time with that, then. Meanwhile, I'd better unpack all these groceries. Oh, <laughs> my goodness, I seem to have bought so many packets of Cocoa Pops. They're my favourites. Are they? That's lucky. <laughs> hey, um, i got a whole lot of stuff here for the dog kennel. Oh, Michael, you didn't have to do that. No, no, it's no trouble, really. Look, uh, i got um, some undercoat and some top coat. Gee, Ringo's going to be the best tree of stock in Pittswood. <laughs> <laughs> Some wallpaper? Wallpaper for a dog kennel? Yeah, why not? I get all this stuff on discount from work. See? Look, Colin, this one's flocked. Probably why it's on discount. <laughs> um, I was thinking maybe the Prince of Wales check might be nice. Actually, I think Ringo prefers the hound's tooth check. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, Michael! <laughs> Do you really think that this is going to work with Colin? What do you mean? Well, I mean, you're trying to ingratiate yourself with him all of a sudden. I wonder why. And I notice we seem to have stocked up on Cocoa Pops. <laughs> I wonder why. Excuse me, I've just remembered that Elsie asked me to come over and see you. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> and what have we here? Uh, just some things for around the house. And what's this? That's a snorkel, Michael. And where are you going to use this? In the bathroom? Where I use my snorkel is my affair. Look, just give me one sensible reason why Colin should take you on this holiday with him. Right, well, I'm his friend. Ah, I said a sensible reason. Well, he wouldn't have even entered the spot the ball competition if I hadn't put the idea into his head. Well, I'm his friend too, you know. Have you ever stopped to consider that he might like to take me on this holiday? Ah, oh, no, don't be ridiculous, Michael. Don't do it to yourself. You wouldn't like it. Port Douglas is where all the beautiful people go. <laughs> So? You'd feel out of place. <laughs> well, what about the Barrier Reef? No, 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 you, you wouldn't like it, Michael. It's just like you, wet and weedy. Oh. <laughs> That's charming. I'm a school teacher, Michael. I need a holiday. Go on strike. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Well, let's perhaps leave this up to Colin to decide, shall we? Um, After all, he's a mature, sensible adult. Yes, he is. He's certainly not going to be swayed by any little attempts to bribe him. No, he isn't. Mm. I wonder if I should have bought him a packet of lollies as well. Mm. <laughs> Another cup of tea, Charlie? Why not? He's already had four. Oh, don't you trouble yourself, Elsie. I'll give it. <laughs> you know, Colin, I'm so glad you introduced me to Charlie. He's a remarkable man. Yeah, he's had four cups of tea and he hasn't gone the tall at once. <laughs> I was thinking more about his character. He's so full of energy and life. 
And tea. <laughs> and he's turning 73 tomorrow. Mm. Doesn't look it, does he? Not unless you sort of squint at him like this. <laughs> he's a good friend. I'd like to make his birthday somehow special. Something out of the ordinary. Yeah, I had one like that once. Why was it so special? My mum remembered it. <laughs> you know, Charlie hasn't had a proper birthday celebration for years. Hey! Why don't we give Charlie a party over at our place? We, c we could put up balloons and we could have musical chairs and play Chasey. <laughs> But a lot of his friends have passed on. Yeah, I guess that wouldn't be that much fun. <laughs> How's the dog kennel coming along? Oh, I should be ready by tomorrow. What are you, what are you going to give Charlie for a present? Well, I knitted him a cardigan and a coat for Ringo. I only hope he doesn't dribble all over it. <laughs> well, I'm sure if you ask Charlie politely not to... <laughs> but, but... <laughs> Will Julia and Michael be there? Oh, yeah, yeah, they'll be there. Oh, something the matter, Carl? Well, it's, it's just that I won this ten-day fun-filled holiday for two with international cuisine and scuba diving <laughs> at a five-star international hotel at Port Douglas. Oh, what a shame. Hey. Yeah. I can't make up my mind who to take and now Michael and Julia keep on... But, well, what's that word that... Ingratiating themselves? Sucking up to me. <laughs> oh, dear, Colin, you have got a problem. Yeah. And all because of a missing ball. <laughs> Colin! Uh, I'm glad you're back. I was only gone for half an hour. Oh, I missed you. <laughs> You feeling all right? Yes, thank you. Look, I've been making some curtains for the dog kennel. But I thought you said that was all a bit wussy. Oh, no, I didn't mean that. Oh, you were being flipper again, were you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, all I want to do is I just want to help you. That's what Michael said. Ah, what's he up to? He's out the front painting the kennel. Oh, gosh, there's a little crawler for you. <laughs> Where? Come on, Colin, what do you think of the curtains? Do you like them? Oh, Julia, they're, they're very nice, but, um... But what? You think they need a little bit of a frill along the bottom? A frill along the bottom? I'll go and get you one. Well, here, let me, let me give you some money. No, 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 please, Colin, they're cheap. Ooh. Where's Julia going to get you some more Cocoa Pops? No, she's gone out to buy some cheap frills. Mm. <laughs> you know, I can't believe the way she's been acting since you won that contest. Oh. Now, listen, you... Cole, matey, um, I decided to paint the roof of the kennel a slightly darker colour than the walls, just to give it a nice two-tone effect. Now, I don't know what you think, but I'm sort of tempted to paint the whole thing in a second coat. I wouldn't worry about the second coat, Mark. I can't believe it. You backed over the dog kennel. Yes, I backed over the dog kennel. How, how bad is it, Julia? Don't worry about it, Colin. There's just a small dent in the bumper bar. No, I meant the dog kennel. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for breaking it to me so gently. Yeah. I think you owe Colin an apology. How do you think he feels? Not too good, actually. Didn't you look in the rear vision mirror? Yes, I did. Oh, to do your makeup. Oh, very good, Michael. Well, didn't you see the dog kennel? Yes, I saw it and accelerated over it. No, of course I didn't see it, Michael. Don't you think it was just a little bit stupid of you to leave the dog kennel in the driveway anyway? Frankly, I think you owe Colin an apology. Oh, so it's my fault that Charlie's presence in tiny little pieces. Oh, look, it's just a stupid dog kennel. <coughs> But I think I like to be alone. Now look what you've done! <laughs> what I can't get over is how you so blatantly tried to worm your way into Colin's good books. 
help you with the dog kennel, Colin, matey. What about an escalator or a pool room? Well, we don't have to worry about the dog kennel. It's smeared all over your bumper bar. Uh, guys, I've decided who I want to go out on the holiday. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, it's a pretty tough decision, because as you both know, you're my two best friends in the world. Only you don't seem to be getting on that wall at the moment, and I reckon that's a shame. So, um, I thought maybe you, you'd both like to go away on the holiday together and, and patch things up. Oh. Anyway, I, I don't really like the beach that much, and believe it or not, I don't tan very well. I, I go red and bubbly. <laughs> and then sort of pool. Anyway, I don't reckon I'd be that good at scuba diving. <laughs> yeah? Hi, Colin. Hi. What can I do for you? Uh, Colin, we, we feel terrible. Mm, we can't just fly off to Port Douglas by ourselves. Yes, I know, Julia. That's why they made aeroplanes. Colin... Julia and I aren't going. What? We can't take the tickets, Colin. Not after we treated you so badly. We tried to suck up to you. Yeah. We tried to bribe you. Yeah. We behaved unforgivably. Yeah. And, and anyway, I mean, I've heard that Port Douglas is a little bit overrated anyway. Really? A friend of mine went up there to the rainforest and he ended up with this really big leech. Gee, you never know who you'll meet. <laughs> so thank you anyway. Thanks very much, but we're not going to take the tickets. Uh, Colin, we're sorry about the dog kennel too. It's OK. I think I can fix it. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Are you sure you like the cardigan, Charlie? Oh. I'll wear it, and every time I'll think of the most beautiful lady in Pittsburgh. Oh. <laughs> Who? <laughs> well, Elsie, you drongo. <laughs> the love of my life, the jewel of my existence. Oh, Charlie, you do carry on. <laughs> yeah, he does a bit, doesn't he? <laughs> Did you like the present I gave you, Charlie? Yes. Oh, that snorkel will come in very handy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Julia. And you haven't opened my prison yet, Charlie. So all aboard for the prison train to the kitchen! The game is rapper da 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 boo 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 Now, Pada! Happy birthday, Charles. Well, it was uh, beautifully wrapped. Yeah, Michael helped. It was a flocker. <laughs> oh, look. These are airline tickets. Yeah, I thought you and Elsie liked to go on a holiday. Oh, Colin. <laughs> Poor Douglas. It's lovely and warm up there. Yeah, and just imagine all the things that you could do. <laughs> Walk along the beach and mm -hmm. watch the sunset. Yeah, go bungee jumping. <laughs> Collect shells. <laughs> Have a paddle in the pool. No, 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 they throw you out for doing that, child. <laughs> a paddle, Colin. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, and then we'll see the reef. I've never seen the reef before. Oh, we'll have a lovely time. <laughs> oh, what about Ringo? Wouldn't, wouldn't you rather take Elsie? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm a 
mean, who's going to look after him while we're away? Oh, we will. We will. Colin will. Will. Colin. <laughs> I, I, I'm speechless. Well, stick your dentures in, Charles. <laughs> I think there's something you might be able to chew on. You ready? <laughs> ready! <laughs> Happy birthday, Charlie! <laughs> now, I think this calls for a song. Hooray for Charlie, hooray at last. Hooray for Charlie, he's a horse. Yeah. <laughs>